Hello everyone and welcome to Kalechi's Organic Fruit Garden. Um, I want to use this video to just show you my watering schedule and my drip irrigation system. So as you know, I started planting my fruit trees and pots. I actually picked up a lot of fruit trees uh, this year. Um, I started out planting trees in the ground here in uh, Houston, Texas, and uh, they died during the frost. And this year we've had a crazy heat dome, over 100 degree weather for like almost i mean more than a month but the trees are looking good they're dropping their fruit but they're looking good um so let me show you what i did to set that up all right so let's go over here um installed a drip irrigation system with a timer so i water this every every two days so every 48 hours all right so we have a hose um and then we have uh um coming down so on there we also have um, so this is the this is the just a regular hose or like or attached sprinkler whatever whatever it's called. <laughs> um, so right here we have that coming down into a timer, and then I have a backflow valve and um, a backflow valve, um, and then I also have a um, what's it called a pressure um, a limiter for the drip irrigation. So there are two things: so one to stop the backflow, another one for the um, um, for the uh, pressure, okay? Um, okay, so it's coming down and I wanted to make sure, I didn't actually bury this, I just left it so the grass is growing over. Um, and then I have a split. And the reason why I split it, so there are two, there's one going that way and there's one going that way. So in case something happens on this line, I this one can still get watered. And if something happens here, this one can still get watered. So let me zoom out, all right? So there's a split behind that, behind the mango tree. All right, oh, not mango, sorry, guava. And as you can see here, I have that split and then I can turn that one off or I can turn that one off going that way. And as you see, it comes off and it goes into the pot. Follow that line, another one comes out and goes into that plant. And on this one, I actually have two separate ones. Um, the reason why is because I had, initially my plan was to put some pots here, but I learned that the sun was pretty much gonna kill it. So right now it's only one that's on and the other ones I just turned it, turned it off, okay? So I have the ability to turn off each of those nozzles. All right, that goes here again. See that one? I mean that way and it comes out and it's going into the pot, all right? Same thing for all of these. Again, I put my pots in there. I have a video on how I built that. Um, my, uh, you know, my, the small plants that are still seedlings, they're doing pretty well in there. Um, mangoes growing, avocado growing, sauce up growing, avocado, I said avocado. Uh, moringa grows a bunch of stuff in there so check out that video um, so again I have about 20 something fruit trees here and that's how they're all set up all right so that way that's my composting tumbler or tumbling composter um, so what happens I mentioned is every uh, 24 hours they get watered for about mm, I think I did it nine minutes um, as you, again you saw you two of them so one's going for the trees or for the pots. Another one is going this way and going into the raised belt, raised bed that I built. There you go. And it's a bunch of, so it splits. Let me go this way. As you can see right here, I have a, a another, uh, uh, what's it called? I don't know what you call this thing. Another one of these things that turns off. So if I wanted to stop it from going in here, I will. And then I have it split right here again, right? So there's a T. So I can stop it from, from uh, in case I'm, I'm done with this and I still want water going into the the uh, little nursery or whatever you call it, um, I can do that, okay? And let's go up and you can kind of see there's four different, uh, this is the one and a, one and a quarter and that splits again into, um, probably have about maybe eight or nine different nozzles in there. And then this goes in here and let me show you some of this in here. All right, so this goes into like a sprayer and uh, and uh, a little nozzle for individual pots right there. So I use this mostly during when I'm out of town. Um, if I'm not, if I'm in town, I water this by hand because it kind of wastes water because that splashes a lot, you know, those things. And I try to, when, I, when I'm leaving, I turn them on and I place the pots so it makes sure they get at least a little bit of water, right? All right, so there's that for this side. 
let me take you to the other side. So the other side just has one, it's this one, um, it's the same timer, but instead of two, it's just one. All right, so let's take you this way. On this side, uh, I also installed a T. Same thing, right? If something happens to one side, half of it, I don't, I want to be able to turn it off and fix it. So there's the T right there. Not exactly half, I guess. That's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not exactly half. But anyways, it comes from that hose right there. Goes down that way. And then I have a split right here. Same thing, I can turn it off. Um, goes up, comes up here, T. So if I wanted to turn off that end, I turn that one off. Turn off this end, I turn that one off. And there you go. So with this watering system, all I do is every week, I make sure that they get a lot of water, all right? So it might be on a Sunday, the day when I know I'm gonna, you know, the sprinkler system is gonna turn on, I turn it off, or you can put a delay on there for one day. And I take my hose and I water, the, I water them. So I usually do it, I measured it out, right? I have a little watering can that when I turn the hose on and I spray water in there, it takes me about, 40 seconds to get two gallons. So that's that's what I did for these. So I might stay here for, you know, 30 to 40 seconds, depending on how moist it is. It's usually dry after a week um, because of the crazy sun. As now as the weather changes, the water is gonna go down, right? So that's what we do. That's what I've been doing to maintain the plants. They're doing pretty good. Um, and, uh, you know, as we start to drop in temperature, hopefully, kind of see been crazy the past two months um as we start to drop uh i'll alter the watering so i usually check to see how much water it has by dipping my finger in there so i'll go in there it'll go away in there feel it this one's feeling a bit dry but because it's exposed i, I made this into a little bowl if we pull back this thing and try it again i bet you it will be a little bit, yeah, that's that's a little bit more moist. So we got some moisture in there. Um, so every seven days, I come in with a hole with that hose right there and water it down to make sure it's nice and soaked. And that's been doing pretty well for it. Um, this, as you know, was dying. It was, wasn't dying. It was struggling with the fruits that are growing, and uh, it turned yellow. And after doing that and fertilizing adequately, it started to take off. So even with this heat. I'm still able to, you know, to to uh, grow these and and uh, they're putting on new leaves and, um, you know, some 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 trees are holding their fruit. The fig pretty much lost all its fruit. The guava, the flowers are not turning; they just fall. But that's due to the heat. So if you want to um, stay updated on on my trees, um, go ahead and subscribe. It's really hot out here, so I have to go back in. Um, Go ahead and subscribe. Sometimes I come out here when the sun goes down a bit and miss them. If it's really hot, I come out here and miss them during the day. Um, but we have a water restriction now in Houston, so I have to water after 7 if I need to miss. I don't water at 7. I water at like 9 o'clock um, with the drip irrigation. And then I come out here at like maybe 8 o'clock if I need to on, on like once every 7 days. If I need to really make sure to, to soak it. Um, so that's the watering system I've been doing um, and they're doing pretty good. So I cut this a week ago and you kind of see it's putting on new growth. I want to break it up and split it. That's how I've been training it. But they're showing me signs that it's still growing. So that's good. You can kind of see the color of the leaf here. They're a lighter leaf, which is shows me new leaves. Um, so they're all putting on new leaves. So that's good. Anyways, please like and subscribe uh, for updates and uh, catch you on the next video. Thank you for watching.